In upstate New York, there is a plastics plant that is installing a multi-million dollar filtration system after high levels of chemicals linked with cancer were found in the water. Dr. Mark Siegel is with me now. Dr. Siegel, great to see you. What is you. in this water that is linked to cancer? It's a chemical called PFOA, and the last time they tested it over the summer, they found 18,000 parts per thousand. That is a lot. It's found in municipal wells, so they're saying don't drink the water in municipal wells. It makes sense because we're seeing increases of very strange kinds of cancers, testicular cancer, pancreatic cancer, renal kidney cancer. You know, and, and people are getting sick from it, fatigue, bloating, they're getting pains, joint aches. So with people getting sick and with an increased risk of cancer, now I can't prove cancer's coming from this, but people that are most exposed to this water, you're seeing family clusters occur. All right, now speaking of water, that is putting people in danger. The Michigan Attorney General is raising more concerns about Flint's crisis. I would certainly not bathe a newborn child or a young infant in this bad water. So how dangerous is lead poisoning? I know if kids drink any form of whether it's water that has lead in it or any product, it's extremely dangerous. But can a child be harmed by actually bathing in water with lead? Two points. First of all, I know a lot of people in Michigan and everyone I talk to saying, what did they ever take water out of the Flint River for? Everyone knows it's a filthy river. Secondly, as opposed to what we just talked about with the chemical, Deirdre, in this case, it's a slow creeping problem. The problem with lead is is someone gets to be five years old and they're not doing as well in school. It, it causes developmental problems, neurological problems. So it isn't so it's much. Very that, serious. It's very, very serious. And it isn't so much that ne someone's necessarily going to get as sick as if they ate paint off of a wall, let's say. But over time, you're going to see problems with behavior, neurological problems. I'm worried about this. For, for people who are there who fear they may be exposed, I hear what you're saying. There's no blazing symptom right up front. But, but what can parents do? Well, parents can get a lead level, for one thing. You can go to see your physician. You can get tested for it. And if there's a great concern, have a neurologist examine you. I okay. think that that's very important for kids. And obviously, the less exposure, the better. Of Again, course. I don't want to scare people. No, but people need the information. People need We're to be taking to it seriously. You. Health officials in El Salvador are just suggesting that women not get pregnant because some, in fact, have said that they have seen birth defects. They think it is linked to a disease from a mosquito and this idea of the Zika virus and the mosquitoes help to spread it. You know, we've run the gamut tonight because in this case, I say the virus is fear. Everybody's petrified of the new killer in the news. And you know what? The Zika virus, to give you an idea, three million births last year in Brazil and maybe a thousand microcephaly, but that is such a tragic complication okay. that you worry about it. You worry That'll about it.